Look what we learned from your house, my friend. Whoa, 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 what do I do? What do I, wh wow, what? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I have the book. Oh, wow. All right, go back in the house. Never mind, I don't know how to use magic. I don't know how to use magic. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, also known as Paul Legolas, the elf. Because of the elf ears. Get it? Paul Legolas. Yes. Uh, all I need is a bow and some hobbit friends and maybe a ranger and a dwarf and we'd be great that would be great i could use some friends <laughs> anyway welcome back to vex super hostile mod pack we are picking up where we left off here after a terrible death at the hands of some kind of uh, magical skeleton he had bubbly fubblies coming out of his butt and he uh he zapped us with some lightning and it died and apparently all my stuff got zapped with that lightning or the fire. I'm not really sure. That was what Vex had told me. I did ask him about that because I am supposed to get my stuff back. When you die, you are supposed to have a little death pile and the Banshee's supposed to be uh, kind of watching it for you <laughs> so you can come back and pick it up. Whoa! Okay, stop. Uh, but that did not happen to me for some reason. I got very unlucky. Um, so, we gotta get, we, oh gosh, it's getting dark. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get the heck out of here before all heck breaks loose like it did yesterday. Uh, and it looks like we're, uh, Vex is up one to nothing. I mean, not that it's a competition or anything. <laughs> okay, it's a competition. <laughs> Let's do this. If I die in an episode, Vex gets a point. If I survive a full episode, I get a point. Vex doesn't get a point for every death, because if I get into, like, a death cycle, because that can happen. Timber! Hopefully these satires don't, uh, see what I'm doing here. There are trees. Oh, gosh, here, here we go. Here we go. Here comes, here comes Twobbles. We gotta get out of here. Um, man, hey, guys, can you help the Zambies? Let's take them out. We can take out two little Zambies. I don't see any bubbly fuzzies coming out of their behinds, so they shouldn't be very special. Yeah, that dude that choked us out had some kind of weird magical capability. All right, um, let's put the stuff in the backpack, because I think stuff in the backpack, uh, you get to keep it. Oh, we got a heart shard. Yes, we can get our hearts back, some of them anyway, because we did lose some. Start out with a whole bunch, thankfully. Oh, gosh, that's that guy. No, that's a different guy. It's a fubbly bubbly. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's run to that house. There's a house right there. <laughs> Hopefully there's nobody in it. Should we take the boat? There's a witch over there. I'm taking the boat. Whoa, 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 go, whoa, 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 is that a bub? Oh, forget you, bub. All right, there's some kind of crazy wizard or something. A wizard took our house um, in the last episode, remember? So, oh gosh, I'm thirsty. So we can't go back there. He probably moved in. And I don't think, whoa. Oh gosh, I almost blocked it. Oh, what's this guy? He's got a, got a sword? Holy moly, you're gonna blow up, buddy. Ha ha. You should have got yourself a shield. Excuse me, chicken. Coming through. Um, whoa. It's an invisible chicken? Whoa. Okay, never mind the chicken. Holy smokes. Get to the house. Whoa. Okay, somebody lifted me up. No, run. And hello, coming in. Close the door. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, whoa. Oh, gosh. Who is this guy? He's a freak. He's got a name. Muck. All right, Muck. Get out. It's my house. Get ye out. Oh, my. Oh, this is bad. We got two. We got Muck and his friend. Oh, Husk is his name. Oh, he's a, he's a husk. Regular husk. I thought his name was Muck. That would have been weird. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No spiders. Okay, I hear a witch or something out there, too. Oh, this is really bad. We got husks. We got spiders. All right, give me a block of wood. Now! Oh, wrong button! <laughs> oh, God! Oh. Get out! You do not belong! My house! Kill that thing. It's nasty. All right, now, put that out, put that out. <sighs> What's down there? Oh, gosh. Uh, zombies. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Nope. Ain't coming up. Ain't coming up. And I think we're safe. Health is coming back. Feel pretty good. Ah, what's this? A ruined spell book. Uh, what do we do with the ruined spell book? I don't know. And I'm not going to worry about it right now. Look at my, uh, my shield and my sword, both in really rough shape. Okay, there's a bubbly fubbly out there, so we don't want to go out, obviously. Somebody jumping over here at the window. <laughs> oh, there's water. Hey, I think we have, oh, we do have some purified water. All right, well, let's, um, let's drink. 
Let's drink up our purified water and let's have something to eat. And I can't believe we actually survived that run over here. That was crazy. Now, while we're relatively safe, it seems kind of safe here. I don't like standing on this trap door. Um, let us do some things. We don't have any stone. Um, we have some iron, right? We got two iron. Oh, wait. Wow. Can I make an iron sword? I'm not sure if I can use the iron sword. Let's see. Can I use an iron sword? No! Oh, level nine? Holy smokes. Um, oh, we have 15 points. Wow, how close can we get? Let's see that. We're on level four right now. The next level is five. It's math. Oh, here we go. Moving up in the world. <laughs> Two points for the next one. I don't know if I want to use them all up so quickly. But we can't use this sword until we get to level nine. I'm going to hold off and uh, think about this. It's a very important expenditure. Because um, I think we're going to need some defense too, right? For wearing certain armor. We have five leather. We can make some leather armor, right? I mean, not much. One bit. Or we could... Oh, we lost the canteen. <gasps> right. We lost the canteen. Can I drink this water right here? Oh. It's just a regular water bottle. I don't think that's good water. I think it's unpurified. If I know my tough as nails mod, I'm pretty sure that is unpurified. <laughs> So how about if we make a canteen? What does a canteen take? Let's look that up. Canteen. Right there. Um, oh, we can make that. Just got to get the leather out. I think that's going to be the best bet. Hopefully it actually works. Why? What, what the? Oh, six. Okay. Math. Right. Um, well, math is for the weak, as you know. And there are three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count. And those that can't. So let's put our five leather back. I'm going to put some wood in there too. And I'll put the sword in there. We'll hang on to it. Oh, we got 16 heart crystals? Wow. Um, how do we make the heart crystal -y thing? We can make one, but we can't eat it unless we get until we get to level 12. Well, Vex didn't say anything about that in the book. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's try it anyway. Golf clap. I'm going to eat it. Can't eat it. See, this is why I saved some of my points. All right, well, let's crank up our magical abilities as well. Um, man, that's going to be a long time, isn't it? I'll chuck that in the backpack. Well, I don't know what to do at this point. Just kind of hang out here until morning. I did grab the furnace, right? Yeah, I did. Let's put a furnace up here. Hopefully, it don't burn the place down. They do not want to go out there right now. All those bubbly fubblies and everything else. This place is wild, man. Wild indeed. Let's cook up this venison. Oh, we got some raw beef here too. Yes. We don't have any... Oh, let's make some charcoal. Let's make some charcoal first. Um, I think we can just do that with one bit of wood trying to preserve here. Using my survival skills. Nine actually, right? And then we go there. Boom. Alright, so that's going to give us a whole bunch of uh, charcoal and in the meantime let's have a look down here hello hi whoa who's pushing I'm sliding why am i sliding <laughs> oh it's starting to get hot here are we in a desert might be in a desert hey oh i can reach him <gasps> Ooh, come over here by the stairs bro sounds like there might be a spawner whoa are they coming up hey 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 stop crowding i thought they were climbing up they can get up on top of that lower ladder which is perfect now they can smack him in the head smack it's gotta be a, that's gotta be a spawner down there right gotta be easy does it one at a time everybody stop pushing everybody gets a turn you get smacked in the head and we're starting to get hot and i wish i had a bow or some kind of ranged weapon you know what i mean oh boy i'm burning am i taking damage i'm not taking damage you know what it is i think it's this furnace that's super hot so we might have to turn that off <laughs> what achievements did we get by the way monster hunter oh speaking of achievements hold on now because we should get some points here oh yeah silkworm egg oh we get stuff okay i really want the experience oh look at all this oh we get coal because we got a furnace all right we'll grab that i don't really need the hopper and everything right now water bottle looks good uh grab the torch chicken 
I just don't want to fill up my inventory with a bunch of garbage at the time being here, you know what I mean? Yeah, that furnace was making us hot. I think we'll be okay if we just leave that off for, the t for now. Oh, it's daytime. Maybe we should go out. Um, on second thought, let's not go out right now. Let's... <laughs> little spider looking through the window. Let us... Let's go down here. I'm curious to see what's down here. Um, I see a bubbly fubbly. Is that a bubbly fubbly? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's not going to be good. But let's make a... Uh, let's make some ladders. And we'll go down and see what's cooking down in the basement here. Because I feel like um, there might be some treasure or something down there. Let's find out. I'm going to make a ladder. Oh, oh, that guy's lifting me. Yep, we got a bubbly fubbly down here. It's not going to help. Hopefully the sword can make it through this. Holy moly! Yeah, gotta be a spawner down there. There's no question about it. But Vex does like to hide his spawners. And oh, I'm on the I'm on the ceiling. <laughs> it's quite a trick you got there, buddy. It's not gonna save you though. Where's that bubbly guy? Come on. I'm gonna have to make some new weapons to get through here. Oh, there he is. Choke blast off. Oh, don't you dare choke me. Don't you dare choke me. We might have to make another sword. I know it's only going to be wood, but it's the best we can do here. Oh, yeah, he's just pushing me up against the ceiling, and I can't reach him. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something for you guys. I'm going to give you a little lift. Get out of the way. Oh, oh, he's choking me. Don't you dare choke me. You know, I have a... um. Whoops, that didn't work. I have a potion of water breathing. I wonder if that would protect me from that choke. Golf clap. You know what? That's a possibility, right? I'm going to kill that guy. I can't quite... Oh, jeez. Somebody's throwing potions or something at me, too. Oh, look at the boots. I need those boots. Is there a witch down there or something? I swear somebody's throwing a potion. Yeah. Blast off Alchemist Bulwark. So... There's two special guys down here. Whoa, he got me that time. 40 seconds of poison. Are you insane? What the heck is that all about? That's a lot of poison. Wow, that is the longest poison I've ever seen. This is not going to be easy, guys. I'm going to just have to go down there. Is there somebody outside? Oh, there is a spawner right there. It's in the floor. Come on, you bums. Get over here. We got this. Okay, this this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill me all the way. Everybody get up. Get up. Close the door. No. Brings you down to half. Okay. It's alright. We got this. Whoa. Is the poison done now? <laughs> I think the poison's done. Yeah, I don't think we're ever gonna get down here. Really need a bucket of lava is what I need. Still throwing poisons, potions at us. We got me again. Bulwark, I think we got him. Okay, I think we got the alchemist. Alchemist zombie. I think they can hit me up here, which is fine. As long as they can't hit me, I'm going to keep chopping. So these guys spawn regardless of light, because it looks like it's pretty light down there, doesn't it? it? Looks like it's pretty light down there. Oh, look at all the goodies. Let's get down there and grab it all. All right, I'm going in. Going in. Oh, oh, <laughs> I hit him with my beef. <laughs> Take that. Take that. Do I have any torches? Oh, boy, I have one torch. Ah, oh, who is a hot guy? Yikes. Oh, I don't like you. Fiery darkness lifesteal. Where is he? Oh, no. Got him. All right, I got to put torches here. All right, grab some torches. Let's go... I think they destroyed the torch. Okay. Torch is right there. What is this? <gasps> Look at all the goodies. A flare gun. Magic 99. We do not have any magic skill. <laughs> not like that anyway. Let's put this armor on. Oh, I can't. I need defense three. All right. Well, hurry up. Defense three. Task complete. All right. Now we can put the chain mail armor. This is good stuff, guys. Unbreaking. It's dented, though. And then we have a pro projectile protection versus magic protection. Ooh. 
defense nine for that. Okay, well, we're going to hold on to the stuff I can't wear or I don't want to wear. I can't use the flare gun. Don't have the uh, ability. Now, what do we have here? Oh, we've got a mending book. <gasps> That's insane. That's great. Recall potion. We've got an iron halberd. Ooh. Can I even use it? Yes, I can. It has no requirement for some reason. We've got a couple of manuscripts. String, music disc, cat, a spell book. Ooh. All right. We're going to read that later. Somewhere safe. <laughs> Bread. Another recall potion. Some bones. Um, do we need zombie flesh? It's probably used for something. Some bread and some more string. All right. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. I think I want to keep the spawner. I don't want to turn the spawner off because what I'd like to do is um, maybe use this spawner as a uh, as a, uh, a grinder, right? So let's just light it up in here. Make sure it's nice and well lit. And then we can come back and uh and get some some experience because you need experience to level up yes all right well that wasn't so bad let's close that door and let's see we go out right now no because i am so full let me just get organized real quick <laughs> i suppose we could just move in here right what is this a bonsai tree ah oh, where's the karate kid when you need him <laughs> yeah this is a pretty decent little home i mean it's small but it's relatively safe and it's in a sort of warm place. I'm going to make an axe, though, and get rid of... Whoops, I need more wood. And I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff here because it's in the way. I'm going to spread out, spread our wing. Oh, how about that bonsai tree? Let's... Oh, I can't even break it. Wait, really? I can't break a pot? I can't even break a pot for some reason. Well, that one I can. I just can't... Whoops. Oh, I just stripped the wood. I'm messing the place up. Let me just take this out, and that whole thing should go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's make some chests. And we'll just put them right here for now. All right. Let me just dump all this stuff out and get organized. And then we'll take a look at everything we have and figure out what the next step is. It's an acacia sapling, not a bonsai tree. Well, it looks like a bonsai tree. Oh, boy. Is it night? I think it's nighttime again, isn't it? Yo, it sure is. Dang it. I wanted to go out and do some exploring and find some more leather. There's some leather right there. Let's go get the leather, and let's just be ready to block this door. And then we're going to take a look at some of our treasure, because we've got some really cool-looking stuff. Most of it, I don't even know what it is or how to use it or and or we don't have the skill to use it <laughs> so we have some experimentation to do especially like the spell book and stuff well, this halberd's great so it's weird that some weapons do have a requirement a skill requirement some don't this particular weapon is from the ancient warfare mod so it does not require any special skill hey chicken didn't i try killing you earlier but somebody saved his life by distracting me uh, oh, there's one of those little brain slimes. They're kind of cute. Should we get some slime? We just need leather. So now we have enough leather to make the canteen. Wow, hey! Whoa! What the, what the heck? Get off my head, dude! Hey, yay, yay! It was on my head. It's a brain slime. What the heck did it do? Try to suck my brains out? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dang! That thing looked so harmless and cute. Looked like a little Pokemon. But uh, don't, don't trust anything. Don't trust anything... On a Vex map. Alright, let's kill some more of these guys. Get some more leather. And there's a couple of Fubbly Wubblies. Bubbly Fubblies over there. And I don't want to get too close. Because um, they do all kinds of wacky, crazy things. We just need a minute or two just to collect our thoughts. My gosh, this place is absolutely bonkers. Uh, where's my bottles at? I think the bottles are inside. I was going to... Oh, okay. Here comes the creeper. Let's go. Let's go. Enough fooling around. Let's get the wood out. Zombies can break doors down in this mod pack. So, putting a door up, at least a wooden door, makes no sense at all. Now, where's the rest of my leather at? It's in my backpack. Okay, now we have enough leather to make the canteen, which was that right there. Okay, look at that. Math. Yay. And now, let's suck up this water. We got it. It is now... Can we put more? Two out of three durability. Is that all? You can't get all the water out of that 
cauldron for some reason. Let's grab our filters, and I think this is how we do it. We put a filter in here, canteen, and we get purified water. Durability one. Oh, golf clap. Purified water. Do we get? We got a quest. We have a lot of quests complete over here, don't we? Let's have a look at them now while we're safe and it's nighttime. We can't really do much else. So we did this. Yay, we purified water. And we can now get some experience. We also found a silkworm egg. You can chop trees down from the bottom. You get the whole dang thing. Sometimes you find a silkworm egg from the break from breaking the leaves. Silkworms are useful for early game string and wool production. They drop silk cocoons the same way chickens passively drop eggs you can put one in a chamber over a hopper to automate collection oh that's really cool and look at this vex is giving us all the necessary items to make a hopper system to collect eggs hello is that that wizard go back to the hole you creep i already stole one of our houses he's not taking this one i will go out there and i will give give him some what for with my uh my new halberd here i bet we can take him now the problem with this place is we can't cook because it's so gets so hot. But I'm gonna try anyway. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna cook up some beef. What? Was this your house? Maybe we took his house. Haha! -ha. <laughs> he was doing some kind of a weird experimentation down here with zombies. But hey, you left, pal. Finders keepers. Should have stayed. He's so angry. How do we grow silkworms? If you guys know the answer to that, let me know <laughs> down in the comments. And we'll try to get a silkworm to grow here. Do you just pop it on the ground? Oh, that's a silkworm. Hi, buddy. Can I pick him back up again? Oh, I don't want you right there. He's going to lay eggs on the floor? Yeah, we're going to have to make like a little cage. Put him in the cage and then it'll drop eggs into the hopper, into the barrel. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have string. Do they actually just make string? They drop silk cocoons. Craft the cocoons by themselves. This gives you some silk, but not much. Use a spindle with the cocoons. This gets you way more silk, but spindles may break and take iron to make. Okay, well, we don't have... Uh, well, we did have iron, but I made a sword, and I can't even use it. <laughs> so, let's, let's spend some of our skill. We got 17 skill points. I really want to get up to... What was it? 9 magic or 12 magic to eat that heart? We got a quest reward. Wow, look at all these quest rewards. Where is it? Skill progression skill you need oh here we go wow check it out what do we get we got a grand magic crystal spell books magic missile oh we're gonna show that wizard who the boss is now baby <laughs> oh cool magic missile projectile mana cost five fires a bolt of magical energy in the direction you are pointing that's what he was shooting at us with wasn't he oh we are gonna get him back okay what else candlelight well, that's nice. So we don't need we don't need torches in dark places. We can just light um, a light spell, candlelight spell, right? Yes, these we have not identified. They have strange magical runes, <laughs> and the only way to identify what they do is to use them, I think. And a scroll of identification. Oh, oh, you can tell what they are with the scroll of ID. Oh, check this out, guys. All right. We got all these books and we can identify them with the scrolls. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but nothing to identify. Maybe I have to put it in my offhand. Yes, that's what you do. We have made the advancement arcane appraisal. Discovered the arc spell. <gasps> what does that do? It's a lightning attack. Are you kidding me? Now, can I use these? I'm assuming I can use these. Let's go, uh, let's go take out that wizard. Might want to wait. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, little buddy. Yeah, I didn't really want to put you right by the door. <laughs> let's put you in the back over here. <laughs> he doesn't move much. That's good. <laughs> All right. I say we go out and give this wizard a taste of his own medicine. What do you say? Looks like it's daylight now. I hope he's still here. Oh, there he is. Hey, pal. Let's use a lightning attack on him. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we learned from your house, my friend. Whoa, 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 what do I do? What do I, wh wow, what? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I have the book. Oh, wow, all right, fine. Whoa, a creeper on a spider. What the heck is going on here? Don't you blow up my house, bro. 
All right, go back in the house. Never mind. I don't know how to use magic. I don't know how to use magic. <laughs> well then, um, back to the drawing board, I guess. This is just the book. Maybe it teaches us the spell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay right there. I'll be out as soon as I learn how to use magic. Okay? Maybe just smack him in the face with my halberd. The problem is he can shoot. Oh, you're on the chest. You're moving. Nice. Um, anyway, yeah, I think what we're going to do is call it quits right here. I'm going to have to do some reading and figure out how to use spells. I don't think you shoot it right from the book. I think the book maybe teaches you the actual um, spell, but then you have to cast it some other way. I think I need mana or something. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he's laughing at us out there. If you know the answer, let me know down in the comments, and we shall be prepared for a magical battle with this wizard in the next episode, and we'll take him out. And we shall uh, we, we'll own this house. It'll be ours, officially. And uh, legally, legally binding. Right? I think so. <laughs> All right. So with that, my friends, uh, Paul Legolas is signing off. We'll see you next time. Look at the little wizard hat there outside. <laughs> Just waiting to get in here to do battle. All right. Well, we'll do that in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you next time. We, gotta, we need a name for our silkworm here. Silky? Silky. Okay, we'll call him Silky. I wonder if we can put a name tag on him. We'll find out. Oh, that wizard is just so salty. <laughs> oh, the little guy just pooped out some string or something. Some a cocoon. There we go. So that's how you do it. So our little Silky friend here poops out little silk cocoons, and then we can turn that into string. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, um, I was just about to put up a sign because, like I said, this is not a competition. But we're going to keep score anyway. So, score right now is tied. Vex1, PSJ1, all tied up. We'll see how it goes in the next episode. <laughs> Alright, that's it for now, folks. Once again, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.